Hello, and welcome back to this uh, second episode of this series of uh, GTA 3 playthrough videos I'm making. Last week I completed all the Luigi missions, uh, so today I'm going to move on to the Joey missions. So, let's get stuck in, shall we? We've got a bit of rush rush on the radio. Just going to take this in for a second. I mentioned uh, in last week's episode, if you hadn't seen it, that the taxi is my favourite car to drive. It's just, it's just the best to manoeuvre. Alright, here we go. Mike Lips last lunch. Hey, I'm bored. When are you going to drill me? Rude. In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. Okay, so this should be a pretty easy mission. But I'm timed. That should be plenty of time. I'm going to go and steal this guy's car and get it rigged with a bomb to then blow him up. Got Rush Rush playing on the radio there from the Scarface soundtrack, which I do have. All right, this is the place. There's the guy's car there. I can tell it's the car because it has a giant arrow pulsating above its head. So now I've got to take this to Eight Balls Garage, garage, if you're British, to get it fitted with a bomb. You will buy yourself a gun. You want knowledge. Get yourself the science. Enjoy, my brethren. Here it is. This is this is where Eight Ball lives. Where we will eventually be coming to to do one of probably the most annoying missions on this game, which is bomb da base. The spelt D A. But we'll, nah, we'll get onto that later. I'm not looking forward to that. I hate doing that mission. It's looking a little bit foggy out. So, I explained last week that I'm not allowed to use cheats, which is annoying because I used to love using the cheats. I would use the weather cheat all the time. If it wasn't perfect weather, I would make sure that the w I'd use the weather cheat to make it sunny. Here he comes. Mm, why don't you get in your car? <laughs> well, nothing's gonna happen. Just get in it. <laughs> That's it. You know how to open the door, don't you? There we go. Oh! <laughs> you blew up. $10,000. Don't mind if I do. Alright, get back in my lovely little taxi. I'm gonna head back to the safe house. I'm gonna start regularly saving between every mission because I'm quite rubbish and it's just easier if you save it beforehand and you don't lose any games or anything like that, so. Back to the safe house I go. Okay, just park up, drive it in. Uh, as I'm saving, I'll have a quick little look at my trusty, do you want it? There we go. I'll have a quick little look at my trusty game guide.
Okay, so I had to edit out the last few minutes of gameplay because I failed the mission! And I don't think anyone wants to see that, do they? You want to see me be triumphant at games, surely? Um, but yes, expect more editing like that as the game gets harder and harder. It does take me a few times to get things right. But I'm heading over to Joey's now to start the mission again. And uh, I think I learned my lesson last time. So I should be alright next time. Right, just around this corner, there's the blue blip. Out the car. And just stand in the thing. There we go. Alright. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing Spank for some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Okay, so this is the second time I'm doing this mission. Really, yeah, I messed up quite a lot the last one. And I went on for ages and ages as well. Chasing this bloke for such a long time, but then to just die, basically. It was quite annoying. I'm gonna get into a nice fresh car so I don't make that mistake again. Bye. Rolling down in Hello Legacy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injury suffered in auto bus and Right, now there is a way that he runs out. There's a direction that he runs out, and that's where I saw of... Oh, that's his car. I think if I move this or something, he won't be able to get away. Let's just... Let's see how that does. And then I'll set this car up ready facing the direction I want it to. So hopefully I can maybe just run him over before he gets away. Shoot some people. Alright, he's off running. Get to the car. Get to the car. In the car. Get out of the way. Where is he? Where? There he is. I can just... Yes. Good. Good little cheat way of doing that, I think. So I'll I'll go st I'll go straight on to the next mission. No, no, I'm gonna I've changed my mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna save it because I did <laughs> I did fail that mission that I've just done before. So I'm not gonna take any chances. So back to the safe house I go. <laughs> So, yep, I had to do some more editing there because this is the third time I'm about to do the mission that you're about to see. Hopefully it's the last time. Got to admit, getting a little bit annoyed. Um, <laughs> but that's... Uh, Got to take the rough of the smooth. It's all a part of gaming. Game out! Flashback is my favourite radio station, which I mentioned in the last episode. Right, here we go. For the third time. Please, can I just get this right? Van Heist. It's annoying. Alright, we're going to hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. 
Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. Then take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. Okay, so I'm going to take my time this time round. I, I tried to rush it the last couple of times I've done this. Now I've got a feeling that I can just slowly damage it bit by bit without getting the police involved too much. Now as soon as you, as soon as you hit the van you get a one, uh, one star wanted level. So I'll hit it a little bit more and then in a little bit, oh god my car's already a mess, I'm going to get a new car, I'm going to get a new car, come on, quick quick, sorry mate, I need this, bye, oh got a one star wanted level again, right I'm going to just, I'm going to follow this van for a bit, I'm going to follow it for a bit, I'm going to smash it a little bit, but I'm going to follow it. One star's back. Now, I think, I think, if I just back off for a little while, that one star wanted level should drop off and then I can hit it again. And it won't have too many police involved, which was complicating things the last couple of times I tried to do this mission. Okay, let's ram it. Oh, t taxi. Fresh taxi. Fresh taxi, Sawyer? Yes, please. Okay. Let's get back to following it. Flashback. Get flashback on. Got a flashback on. Okay, that's the wanted star gone, so I can go back to giving it a good little shunt. Let's get a good run up. Oh, it's changed direction. That wasn't a bad shunt, that was. So I'm going to hold off again. Honestly, the police were so annoying the last couple of times I've been trying to do this mission. So, say so if this is boring, but... Um, yeah, I was getting really stressed. <laughs> Alright, back to shunting. Another shunt, another big one. No, oh, oh, I've messed it up. That wasn't as big a shunt as I would have liked to have given it. So I'm going to hold off again. Oh, it, it, no, that wasn't my fault. It crashed into the tree and damaged itself. Now I've got a two star wanted level. And this is where things get annoying, so I better just try and, better just try and, what am I going to do here? Oh, we're nowhere near a spray shop. Should I go to a spray shop? No, I'm not getting anywhere near a spray shop. Right, shunt, shunty, shunty. Another couple more shunts. Try and get. Should I get a new car? Oh, I'm gonna blow up, aren't I? Bloody police! Where's a new car? I need a new car. I need a new car. I need a new car. Right. I'll take anything. Out of the way, prostitute. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't get arrested. Don't get shot. Come on. Right. Oh God! Police are annoying. Let's get flashback on to try and calm me down a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Right, now I need to get out of the car. I need to get in here. No, oh, come on! Oh god, don't get arrested! I've just driven, I'm driving across the cross. Right, come on, because the police are going to be all over me. Oh, this is really difficult driving it up hills. Look at that. Nudge. Thanks. Okay, just in here, nearly there now. Nearly there. There we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Get it in this little garage. Oh man. Oh, come on. Just waiting for confirmation. Oh. Cannot tell you how relieved I am. Ah, this is this El Burro guy. He's got an opportunity. Get to the payphone in Hepburn Heights if you want more info. Right, I will eventually have to do these El Burro missions 200% of the game. I've never done them before, I've never bothered doing them. Just quickly get this taxi. And then I'll head back to the safe house and save the game. There will probably be a fade to black after I've saved this game because I would have edited out all the times I've got the next mission wrong. Okay, anyway, let's stop being stressed and let's enjoy the game, shall we? Okay, so I've just spent the last sort of two minutes or so looking at my game guide for this next mission because I just... I've been rushing, I've been rushing these a bit. I need to, uh, to stick with the game guide, be prepared. Hopefully I'll get this mission done first time. Um, I had to get the game guide off of eBay. I think it cost about 20 quid or something, which was quite extortionate because it's a bit, it's, it's not in great shape. Um, but yes, I'm fully prepared and I should be alright to do this next mission. Right, I'll just pull up here, get out of the way. On the blue bit, blip. Cipriani's chauffeur. Sounds easy. Tunda real sweet. She purrs, you know what I mean? Oh, here's the guy I was telling you about. I right, listen, this guy he ain't Italian and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's Capo, Tony Cipriani. Hey, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant at St. Mark's. All right. Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? Okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washerwomen ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car, Joey just fixed this junk heap. So no fancy crap, okay? Okay, if I'm not mistaken, that is Michael Madsen's voice. Pretty sure he is. Probably should look that up. Um, no, it definitely is. Which is quite cool. Just adds to the credibility of the GTA series. That was magnificent. A very emotional piece, this next one. Alright, I'll drop him off here. Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Safe to assume that somebody's going to get shot. Oh, he's got a baseball bat. So I don't know what's going to happen. He's going to get shot. Okay, he's in the car. And we are away!
Missions are so much easier when the police aren't involved. As soon as the police start poking their nose into our business, when I say our, I mean the criminal fraternity that I'm a part of. Um, yeah, they get annoying. So, I assume this is just a case of driving him to that pink spot. Triads think they can mess with me. The triads. With me. Drop by later and we'll give them something to launder. Their own blood-stained clothes. Off he goes. And that's the end of the mission. Oh, first time. That's nice. Gotta take the... I'm gonna take that taxi. What we got? What's the pager saying? The Uzi is now in stock at ammunition. Good. Probably need that at some point. In the meantime, I'm going to drive back to the safe house, save the game, have a quick look at my game guide, and on to the next mission. Another pager. Any more... Secure cars you want cracked, bring them to our garage in the Portland Harbour. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, just had a quick look at my game guide. I'm fully prepped and ready for this next mission, which I should hopefully do first time. It's a, it's a slightly tricky mission, but it's a fun one, so I'm looking forward to it. Alright, nearly there, just round this corner, on the blue blip, let's get this mission started. Dead skunk in the trunk, it's a good one. Beautiful, just beautiful. Alright, just the guy I need to talk to. Alright, there's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near Callahan Point. One of the Ferrellis thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood, alright? So, uh, stiff, it, it, it wasn't something rude he was talking about then. That's slang for a, uh, for a corpse, which hardened criminals like myself, I know, I know all the lingo, all the jive talk. So, yeah. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights and maidens also there. Also realise that I'm talking a lot like Alan Partridge. I've been watch, watching it recently. Who's that? They're the guys that are eventually going to chase me. Now, is there a way I can shoot them or kill them before they get to me? Maybe if I shoot them. That's not worked out well, has it? So now I need to... Oh, there's an another car I can see in the distance. Right, I need to get this car and get it to the crusher. Oh, I think I've complicated the mission. Oh no, I think I'm going to have to do this again. Now remember they try and shunt the back of you and the, the boot eventually drops off the car and you see the body inside it. But I think I'm... have I lost them? I think I've... I think I might actually do this if I don't roll the car! No! No! Oh! Oh, heart was in my mouth then. Right, I'm gonna just concentrate and get this to where it needs to be. Okay, I'm nearly there. I've sort of driven the wrong way. 
Please don't roll. Please don't roll. Okay. Let's just get this where it needs to be. Get out of the vehicle. I'm out of the vehicle. Alright, mission end, yeah? Are these guys still gonna... Are these guys still gonna come after me and try and run me over? Come on. I wanna get to a car or something as soon as possible. He's knackered. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Oh no! I think... I think I'm going to die! Can you just say mission over, please? Please! I'm circling. I'm using a... Uh, yes. Right. Are they still going to try and make it over this wall? Oh, that's right. You can't... You can't climb over things. I don't think you can climb over things until... San Andreas? Maybe Vice City. Please don't blow up, Van. Van didn't blow up. Yeah, sometimes they have these sort of rigged cars parked at various places. Uh, just going to take this taxi. But when you get into them, they they just blow up. So I'm going to head back to the safe house, save the game. It's another mission I've managed to do first time, which is good. Just going to quickly. Yeah, a little bit of health. As soon as I was by the hospital. That'll do. Alright, just get round this corner. Just slide it into that alleyway. Park up. Quick save, quick look at the game guide, and we should be golden. Right, if I'm clever, I would have done a little edit at this point, because I just turned up to try and do a mission, but I turned up too early. I had to come back at a different time. So I'm going back now to Joey's, I think this is the last Joey mission, hopefully I'll do it first time again, I'm on a bit of a roll, so yeah, I've got She's on Fire playing, on Flashback FM, just smashed into a police officer, apart from that, everything's gravy. Okay, here we go. Hopefully my wanted star would have dropped off by the time I've finished watching this. What a ride she's gonna be, huh? Alright, listen. Get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get them to the bank before 5 o'clock, not a minute after. Okay, so this is a mission that will, I assume, definitely involve the police, which are annoying. I mean, <laughs> I'm not off to a good start. <laughs> That's the wanted level dropped, so I'm free to do this mission. I think I'm just going to have a little look round for a fresh taxi. Come on, where are you? There we go, here we are. <laughs> like buses, isn't they? <laughs> You're waiting for one and two come along at once, but I'll take this one. This will do nicely. Get flashback back on. Let's get on with this mission.
There it is. Had a bit of trouble driving into the place for some reason. Here come the gang, armed and ready. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, alright. Okay, so I'm going to face this car the other way so that once they come out the bank I can I can go through that alleyway because there's a there's a lower wanted level star there. Anyway, that's my plan. Hopefully it works. Put your head stuck in the 80s. Okay, through the alleyway. Oh! Come on, police. Just, can I, just get, come on, out of the way. Just, there we go. Oh, man. Oh, God, the police are annoying. Right, go through here. Let's get the, oh, it's my old taxi. Let's get the, uh, the, the car resprayed. Just to, just to be on the safe side. Always running from something flashback. Right, pass the police off my back, don't crash into them, and <laughs> this should be a simple case now of dropping these guys off back in the place where I picked them up. Yep, and this should be mission complete. Uh, yes, 30 grand in my sky rocket. Okay, that's all the Joey missions done. So next week I'm going to be moving on to the. Is his name Tony? I'm going to assume it's Tony. In the meantime, please subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you all next time. Adios.